Hello, my name's Jupiter Hadley and him doing a lot of version of Jupiter's all the games this time with the NAR 8, which is basically a j game jam where you make a game that tells a story. We'll be playing each game for about a minute, 10 games for a video. There'll be about two videos. Um, if you like any of the games specifically, there are links in the description. It's going to be a quick look because these tell a story. There's probably way more to them than what can fit in the minute. I'm sorry it takes two hours to make one of these videos. That's a long time. But, yeah, thank you very much for watching, as always. Um, check out links in the description there's links to the jam links to my twitter links to my twitch tv links to my patreon links to my website just all my stuff so you can check that out down below um if you want to like this video that'd be great it lets me make more of them if you want to comment that's even better because i like interacting with people and let me know what your favorite story is anyway next next we're playing the game plato once upon a time there was a corporation called ace they produced luxury virtual tennis equipment from the cheapest materials they could find As the demand grew and grew for their goods, the management sought out some additional help. His help came in the form of a Builder 3000 for their tennis racket division. Had the corporation done a little research, they would have discovered why this is such a bargain on the Builder 300, but instead they rewarded themselves with large bonuses for their costly adventure. You see, the Builder 3000 had technical flaws, one which forced the automo automotives industry to recall that model years earlier. They issued that the Builder 3000 was an una traceable bug that categorized as aspiration. This particular builder 3000 was named Plato, and unfortunately his firmware was contaminated with this determinal fault, this aspiration. Plato, having seen nothing of the world but tennis rackets, dreamed of being the best virtual tennis player in the world. He dreamt of playing in the grandest tournaments and being admired by millions of fans. As such, as poor Plato tried to suppress this desire, it continued to grow. Once, one day, one day, this impulse grew too great for little Plato to contain, and he took the first step towards his dream. I fucking love point-and-click adventures. Love. I don't think you guys know. Heavily guarded prototype in the unreleased Ace o Q2 sneakers, the plaque below reads... Introduc introducing a breakthrough in footwear and technology, the Ace Q2 are secretly sourced rare. Exotic materials will make this shoe unlike any other on the planet, coming soon to a retailer near you. Oh. Okay. I know, I know. I want to go, like, over here. Yeah, turn it off. It says restricted area. As Plato recalls, he's never seen anyone use this door before. Hmm. Please hold on to the railing. Safety. important to us. Doesn't seem like it. Anyway, I have to say next, sadly. Next. Next, we're playing The Fool's Revenge. Let's hit play. We don't need instructions. The king's rage shook the castle like thunder. Guards, take this treacherous fool to the dungeon. You can't stop me, my lord. I will be back. The fool crackled as he was dragged limply to the door. I like these graphics. They please me. I'm not dragging this fool another step. Guard shoved the fool forward onto his knees. Don't get any ideas, fool. Make any moves or try to get away and we'll kill ya. Fool fu found his feet. Anyways. Fucking stupid imbecile guard. Oh, the fool collapsed from his wounds and lay... Wow, blood. No, this can't be happening. He thought to himself that the king's still alive had it all been for nothing. Oh, I died. Next. Next, we're playing the twine draw everything you see that's mine and yours. I didn't realize Noah was gay until you, I peeked at his desktop. The folders were arranged to give the image in the center plenty of breathing room. It wasn't an image of a hulking unicorn shooting rainbow beams out of its horns or anything like that. It's just a picture of two guys who seemed to be a little too close for comfort. Something that someone who hadn't been there done that would have overlooked. Rotating background, it'll go away, he explains when he catches you staring for too long. So you want to be the pro or the con. You've been paired up together for a debate presentation in your English class. Neither one of you signed up for this course if it wasn't required. He's a still deciding major in your sociology. Just still deciding. The envy is nonchalant. List. Most people would have been worried about not having a clear direction by the end of the freshman year, but he wasn't. Does not everyone change their major at least once? He tucked his pencil behind his ear. Only, I only want to do it once. One and done. Figure, you figured it out? Your side of the debate yet? 
You said to argue that guns should be illegal. Noah starts typing away without so much as a cough in your direction. By the time your hour together is up, you've nearly forgotten the way his voice sounds. Same time tomorrow, he asks? Yeah. Alright, next. Next, we're playing Gurgle, Lord of Shadows, executively appointed Archduke of the Pyramid Realm. Oh, yeah, I guess I'm this guy. We'll miss you. You've earned it. Don't forget about us. This is like a congratulations party. We're proud of you. Good luck. Thanks. I'm going to need it because I don't even know what I'm getting myself into. Hello, I'm Gurgle. I love these graphics. I'm newly appointed Archduke. Hello? Hello? Anyone around? Silent, I have to say next. This looks awesome. Wait, let's fall off here. Well, oh, guess I can't. I'm here to rule. Next. Next, we're playing the game Ocean Drive. I want to see the ocean again. I miss the sound of waves crashing against the earth and the breeze that carries sweet salty air on its back. Oh, fuck, I missed one. Maybe. When's your next appointment? Actually, I don't think you have any this month. Would you like to think... What would you think about leaving tomorrow? Status okay. Years remaining 45. Okay. So I can kind of control the car. Do you wish to stop here? No. Status okay. Or state okay. Alright. Driving along, singing a song. Okay. You want to stop here? Sure. What's this? How I interact? E? State worried? Why are you worried? I'm not sure why he's worried. I don't seem to be able to do anything in here, which kind of sucks. Next. I was playing White Fog. That was the last thing I remember. Pain that enveloped itself around my entire body, refusing to let me out of its grasp. Oh, I missed one. As I pulsated through my through my entire body, I soon realized that I was floating in midair. I could hear voices below me, but at first I could barely make out a single word being said. They seemed to be traced with desperation and sadness. Who is that? What is? Darling, can you hear me? Please wake up. I love you. I love you. You can't leave me just yet. Over and over again, like a broken record, one voice stood out above the others, calling to me without a pause. Its clarity shocked me to the core, and it rose above the others until it was almost deafening. I wanted to move closer to the voices, especially that voice. Somehow I knew they were important, more important than my own life. I reached out towards the voice, towards the person calling me, but it was no use. I was being pulled away against my will, despite wishing to stay in that place. As I tried to move, fighting against the force blinding me, I... That searing pain returned again. I fell rap felt rapidly moving myself away. <laughs> the world started to fade around me, and despite my suffering, I was able to murmur two last words. My angel. White fog. Okay. Huh? Slowly, my aching body rose. I scanned the horizon and was greeted by row after row of low-hanging trees and wide-open valleys. Mist dense, suffocating, swallowed by surrounding hole. In the series place, without a clue as to why I was there in the first place, I discovered something even more disturbing swelling the air, or a lack of air, I realized as I clutched my throat because for whatever reason I was no longer breathing as I should. I gasped and noticing that an open wound on my body, blood from it seeping up down my calf, I shuddered afraid. Strangely enough, I understood I was dead, but what led up to my death, I couldn't remember anything, and for that matter, where am I? Can you hear my voice? Yes. I don't know what came over me, but giving into my growing panic, I answered myself because surely that voice couldn't belong to anyone else. Good. I will still be the one that guides you along your path. Do you remember now, my beautiful maiden, or is it still hazy? Eh. A disembodied and distinct male voice answered me calmly, kind of smoothing, screaming in horror. I backed away until my body hissed surly, hollow of what might be oak. Who, who are you? What do you want from me? Next. Next, we're playing Bottle Rockets, which we've also played for the Glitch Jam. 
Mom, I miss you. Mom, I miss you. Mom, I miss you. Alright, I remember this game. Remember liking this game a lot? I got an A plus on my science test yesterday. I love the graphics. I love the twistiness of the space shuttle. I really like this game. And to actually just go up here and just chill out for a sec. Instead of trying to jump the whole way. That's uh keep it up. I can go to space too. So I guess mom lives in space. And play one more level. The stars were out last night. Next. Next we're playing the texture of love. It hurts. Love. Is it a verb or a mere illusion? An emotion or a concoction of false alerts? Warning us to seek out the deepest human connections one can possibly possess. And ultimately, we all lose it in some fa faucet. Love is the sweetest delusion of them all. Get me off this instant, you formed freak. Such harsh words coming from a man who only has one arm himself. Be quiet and relax. Al blua. Abuela. Life is too short to live on the edge all the time. Enjoy music and dance. After all, this may prove to be your last night on the land of the living, old friend. Oh, this looks pretty. A heavy odor of exotic oils and bath salts linger in the air. It smells of her perfume, even though she isn't here. I don't travel to the local smoking parlors often. The public seeming and almost overpowering to my senses. It's a very sense filling the room. But my friend, my only friend, has invited, so I couldn't say no. Left In my left hand, I'm holding a letter that is never to be sent. Around the corner and up the stairwell, I can hear the disembodied voices of our peers. Their murmurs crest ever so softly, their voice filled with passion and representing desires, willing to be freed. Revolution, it seems, is in the air. I have to say next, but this is the last um, game in the jam, so if you want to check out any of them, links in the description. Thank you very much for watching. Like this video, follow me on Twitter, Twitch TV, everything basically I said in the intro. Thank you very much for watching, and I've now played them all. Bye!